Specifically, we are building what we call a national research innovation agenda, which is going to guide our priorities in research and development and innovation. Um, and we had uh, different ideas from our from researchers, from policymakers who were on, on, on the panels. Our national system, our regional system is innovative. There is a national innovation system. It's not zero. It's never zero. It's very important for the country to have a, a policy. It defines the national system for research and innovation. One of the resounding um, kind of sound bites that I think has come out of that is that uh, a lot of these large companies are really frustrated with the quality of the students that come out of the universities, particularly in the area of data science. And one real win-win situation would be to have a kind of a dual certificate at the end of this master's course that you get a degree from the University of Rwanda, but you also have a professional certificate from Microsoft. It is highly unlikely that you as an institution you'll be self-sufficient in terms of expertise. Uh, it is important that you get also an infusion of uh, expertise and knowledge from other partners in the region, in the country, uh, even within the same institution. We also encourage uh, staff to be able to register for PhDs here. We basically have a specific facility that caters for that, uh, which is the innovation grant. And uh, we have a cap of up to 300,000 US dollars. Research doesn't seem to require uh, colossal amounts of funds to have tangible results. It just needs uh, some uh, um, optimal uh, support and good minds in a good environment and uh, good networking. The National F Science Foundation uh, only funds between, uh, by my estimate, 1.2 percent of research in the U.S. But they have a, a very strong influence on research in the U.S. simply because uh, they set the standards for research. We usually fund things that end up in two products that will actually go to the market. Who are the beneficiaries of research? Who are the businesses that benefit from this particular commodity? When they said it, this product that was produced through research, how, where does it go? We discussed uh, among uh, researchers, acad academia, and other, um, other people, how the environment in Rwanda can be improved and how we can get more people into, into research. And one of the things that I've learned is there's so many initiatives that are currently ongoing if we put all of them together in a few years, five, six, ten years, in Rwanda would we'll have really, really innovative uh, research and um, components. So the fact that from this week we focused on the youth and society, it impressed me so much. Just a very appropriate topic or the theme, igniting the power of science. The power is there, but it needs to be ignited. Mm -hmm.